This is an abandoned basketball court. And in today's video, I'll be transforming it into a modern day basketball court. And to be honest with you, this is gonna be really hard. This court is extremely dirty. Like there's like trash and dirt and stains and everything possible. But guys, before we start cleaning the court and doing all the fun stuff we have planned, I feel like I should briefly give you guys a little history about this court, you know what I mean? Just a little background story. So basically, <clears throat> the basketball court is located in this like 100 year old abandoned like place. I don't even know what this thing's called. It's like a giant barn or something. As you can see, the basketball court's over there. But yeah, this whole place is like a really scary, creepy vibe. There's the basketball court. And look at how big this place is. Gee whiz. I know you're all probably asking yourself, like, Oliver, where's the basketball hoops? You know what I mean? Obviously, there is none anymore. I believe, obviously, they took them down or maybe they fell down or, like, rotted or something. Who knows? But yeah, since this place is, like, 100 years old, I can imagine the basketball hoops look something like that. And yeah, for the actual lines of the court, like the three-point line and free-throw line, I believe at one point there probably was lines. There's a bunch of dirt covering everywhere, so maybe when we clean it up, there'll be, like, lines that we can see from, like, the olden days. That would be pretty cool. So this is the leaf blower. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what I will be using to make this court look, like, immaculate, you know what I mean? Like, super clean. Which button? Before we continue any farther, we have this weird thing I just saw. Uh, seems to be a, a little scoreboard. Anyway, I think now is a good time to mention the plan for this challenge. So, step one, clean the court. Step two, head back up to my house and bring down two of my basketball hoops. And then, for step three, build the lines of the court, make it like a modern day three point line, you know, a modern day free throw line, stuff like that. Now that we got that out of the way, sit back and relax, because this video is about to get epic. <sighs> So Leaf Blowers is doing good, but it's honestly not doing as good as I expected. As you can see, there's the like the spot where it leaf flowed, and over here is where I haven't done yet. So it, it, there's a pretty little bit, uh, bit of a difference. I keep hearing noises, I'm kind of getting honestly scared. I just got a man up. Holy cow, four YouTube notifications at once. All this dirt is getting in my mouth. Probably like 400 year old dirt too. Kind of nasty. But with that being said, we have completely steam, or not steam, I was gonna say steamrolled. Uh, completely leaf blowed the entire floor. Here's a clip of what it looked like before leaf blowing, and now here's what it looks like after. It definitely looks a little bit better. Anyway, so obviously, you guys saw the court wasn't like as clean as I expected it to be, you know what I mean? So I have another idea, which I'm gonna do to make the court hopefully get a little bit more clean, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm gonna uh, head back up to my house, grab some equipment, and I'll be back. Hello. There we go. So for the past four days, I've been uh, stuck under this piece of wood. That's why I haven't been filming, my bad. I just escaped those, so we're back now. As I was saying. Okay, as you can see, the court's looking pretty clean, pretty good, it's pretty solid, but not good enough. So in case some of you still don't know why I have a bucket of water and a broom, I'm gonna tell you right now. So using the water to dump on the court to get everything like wet and stuff like that, that way I can get off like the mold and stuff with the broom. Pretty self-explanatory, this is gonna be epic. Alrighty, hopefully this goes to plan, hopefully I have enough water, we only have two buckets. Gotta get just so Obviously right now it looks like I made the court a lot more dirty, but don't worry, that'll all dry up in a second. Once it dries, it's definitely gonna look a lot better than it did before. And it's time for the next bucket of water. This one actually is a little bit more filled. So it's just gonna be a little bit more epic, you know what I mean? I'm also gonna try to dump it more in the corners because that's more of like the, you know, the, the dirty spots. Okay, quick overview of the court so far. After cleaning it with uh, water and broom. Oh, look at that. That's gonna dry up to be nice and shiny and clean. It's looking pretty solid. Thought I would have enough water to like fill the court completely with water, kind of like a swimming pool, and then like wash all it off. It is now time to initiate step number two. Or maybe, oh wait, no, sorry. 
Step number three. Step three is a fun one. I'm gonna head up to my house and grab two basketball hoops and somehow manage to bring them down here all by myself. That is gonna be brutal. Once I get the two basketball hoops down here, I'm gonna set one up on that side and then that side. Hopefully by then the court will be nice and dried up and super looking clean and stuff like that. So then we can finally add like the court lines to the court and make it look like a real basketball hoop. It's really coming along down here. If you're enjoying the video so far, I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like because this is a pretty epic video I've been making. We're gonna head up back to my house. I forgot what we're doing. Oh no, grabbing basketball hoops. Bye. Okay, we made it back to my house and this is the basketball hoop that I will be bringing down. One of them. I have no idea how I'm supposed to get this into here and then drive it down without it like falling out. I guess we'll just go for it and see what happens. Oh, that's funny. After about 10 minutes of intense scary driving with that basketball hoop on the back, I finally made it back down to the basketball court. Now it's gonna be a pretty difficult part. I have to bring the basketball hoop all the way from there over to there. Shouldn't be too hard, it's a pretty light basketball hoop. Uh, hey, yeah. Who's too big for the door? I'm sweating like crazy. Whew. That was a really clutch move of me. I got the hoop inside. Looks good, honestly. I'm proud of myself so far. Anyway, the next hoop we get should be a much easier hoop. So what I'm gonna do, my camera's about to die, hold on. I'm gonna head up to my house and grab the other basketball hoop, and I'm also gonna grab a bunch of chalk and stuff like that so I can actually get the And we're back down here. That was probably the last trip we had to take it back to my house because I'm pretty sure we have everything we need now to complete the entire court. Obviously this hoop is a little bit smaller. It's a uh, medium sized hoop, not a mini basketball hoop, not a normal sized basketball hoop. Okay. I'm so mad. Why is this court not drying? It's so weird. What, what What's going on? I just basically ruined it. I don't know why the court's not drying. Um, ignore that though. We have the hoops completed. And now it is time for step four. I'm sure you all know what this step is. Let's head back out to the cart. This step is what's really gonna make it turn into like an actual basketball court. And I'm excited. One, two, three. Boxes of chalk. I don't know why I grabbed this. Oh, you guys can't even see me. Hi. It is time now to officially add the court lines to this basketball court. I'm gonna make this court look epic. For this side of the court, I'm gonna do like a nice red and like bright colored theme. And for the other side, I'm gonna do like a blue colored theme. Kind of, you know, like compare and contrast. This is really shaping up. I finished one side of the court. I won't show you guys it yet. Honestly, the, 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 the uh, whew. chalk's not showing up as well as I expected it to. Kind of disappointing, but honestly, I think it still looks pretty solid. Next, we're gonna do this side, which is gonna be kind of tough. After literally almost a week of planning this video and filming and executing and all that type of stuff, the finished product is officially completed. Besides the, uh, the wetness, ignore that if you can. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. Really disappointing. I'm gonna show you guys the official court. Oh, look at my hands. It's just chalk. In three, two, wait, what? In three, two, one, action. Bounce, bounce, bounce. 
Look at that. <laughs> Bro, the water ruins the whole court. But hey, really just focus on the basketball hoop and you know, like the lines, parts that you can see. I think it looks really good. And my camera died, but I actually promised I made the shot. I drained it for LeBron James. For you, LeBron. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want to watch more of my videos, I should, you should check them out on the screen right now. But yeah, peace out.